And welcome back. Well, most of the time we walk around without knowing the significance of our surroundings. But a guided historic walking tour can give you a whole new perspective on our city. Walking tours are great to learn a little bit of history, to get a little exercise, and you don't even need to be entertaining out-of-town guests. It can just be for you. All right, you can just go. And joining us now is Julia Griffith from Historic Milwaukee to chat about some of their year-round tours that focus on history, architecture, and preservation in Milwaukee, which yeah. is great. Thanks for being wonderful here. Wonderful to yeah. see you. Um, this is such a wonderful way to be a tourist in our own city. Yeah, I think people spend so much time in their car, particularly in most of downtown that you don't actually look all the way up to the top of the buildings or even down to the bottom where you can get a lot of great clues about how long a building has been where it is. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. You guys are a nonprofit. Yeah. Years and years ago, we, mm -hmm. we went uh, and delivered coffee to you guys. And I've, I've thought, like, what you guys do is so great ever since then, but you've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. We were actually founded in 1974 in Walker's Point when there was a lot of threat to um, most of those buildings have been there since George Walker set foot on Walker's Point. Uh, so there's a lot of threat to that neighborhood and we started walking tours there. And then other people said, well, what about my neighborhood? Like, what's yeah. cool where I live? Um, and it's expanded ever since. So we do seven walking tours in the summer months um, and two in the colder months. It's a little harder to <laughs> encourage people outside yeah. when it's you know, below zero, but we do our best to use indoor um, paths. Give us some highlights of some of the different tours. Yeah, yeah so we, um, we partner with Sculpture Milwaukee and we do a sculpture tour on the, um, twice a week actually. We I saw it the other day. I saw a group of like 30 people going yeah. around checking out the sculptures. Yeah, so we cover all the sculptures on the east side of Wisconsin Avenue. Um, it's about 16 and they're, they range from national, international and local artists. Uh, and they do phenomenal work. We do a hop tour on the streetcar, uh, which is a great way to kind of talk about urban renewal, new urbanism. Some of those ideas are really kind of uh, lost on people when you, you use the highway every day, but you don't necessarily think about why it's there. Um, and then we do a great downtown tour, which is just a super lovely introduction to our three founders, the river, the lake, and why Milwaukee is the way that it is. That's so, so cool. neat. I mean, I, I do think like the more you get out of the city um, into different towns, you realize how beautiful downtown Milwaukee yeah. is. There's so much old architecture. Yeah. And those buildings like rival many places overseas. I mean, it's, it's yeah. really pretty. It's gorgeous. What? And we have so many international tourists who come in and say, yeah. This architecture is so beautiful and I didn't expect it. And mm -hmm. if you live here and you don't go check out your own backyard, you're missing out. We completely. take it for granted, we yeah. really do, but it's pretty. What's your favorite tour? Um, oh, I love Beyond Brady, the Polish and Italian immigrant story in Milwaukee. I think a lot of people nowadays see Brady Street and they're like, great restaurants, awesome bars. There are so many phenomenal um, immigrant stories. Uh, the residential architecture that surrounds Brady Street, it's really not just about this one commercial thoroughfare, it's about the entire neighborhood and how it supported immigrants in the city. What so about cool. the Lulu and Rocky family yeah. tour? So uh, we have a little <laughs> gift shop um, in our office on Michigan and we uh, got this book, Lulu and Rocky Explore Milwaukee, which is written and illustrated cute. by, I know, by locals, uh, to a local writer and a local artist. And I fell in love with it. And we reached out to them and worked with the author to write a specific family tour. We were looking for something for families. Um, and so we kind of cover some of the highlights from the book and we do some of the activities. You go to the Fister and um, it's just phenomenal. So it's two little foxes, they're fox cousins and they run around Milwaukee. So we'll take you on the tour with them. Cute. It's adorable. Yeah. What, what times are these tours? Do you have to be, is it during the day only? So we do them um, uh, all kinds of different times. We do have an evening tour on Wednesdays. It's Riverwalk. Uh, we do at least a tour every day. Um, our website's probably the best place to see that. We have a lot of special tours. Saturdays we do tours basically throughout the day, 10 to 2. Um, Sundays, we have a couple of tours. It all depends on the week. And what about the guides? Are they volunteers? Are they specially trained? They're all my favorite people. Oh. <laughs> so we do, they're all volunteers. We, we train them ourselves. Um, history, architecture, Milwaukee, we work with John Gerda. Um, this year we had 21 go through guide training, but yes, they all volunteer their time, so I don't have to personally give all the <laughs> tours, um, but they're phenomenal. And I think the thing I like the most about it is they all come to volunteer for Historic Milwaukee for different reasons. 
So they're all well trained. All the tours are going to be phenomenal, mm -hmm. but they're all going to be a little bit different. So you could take a tour oh, yeah. three times over and you're going to get a different tour every time, which That's is the best really part. Neat. The thing that I thought was neat when I saw you guys walking by is everybody had this little box on. So mm -hmm. what is, is that a, an earpiece? Yeah, so it's just to help people um, hear better. Uh, there's lots of traffic obviously downtown. Yeah. So we, we're trying to incorporate that technology to help people really enjoy the tour, enjoy the architecture, but not you don't have to be traffic. the one closest yeah. to the guide. Then you go, what? what? Yeah, huh? or make my volunteer <laughs> shout at you. Yeah, so right. It depends. Some volunteers um, prefer like just a voice box that'll just amplify their own sound, and some use the headsets. It it all depends. It's so, so cool, Julia. neat. Yeah, it's I can't awesome. Wait to do it. Here's the information for Historic Milwaukee. There are tours every day of the week. You can go online for more information. Four one four two seven seven seventy seven. 95historicmilwaukee.org is the website to visit to find out more about each different tour and which one you might want to take. So give them a call or check it out online. That was fantastic. Thanks, Thank you so much. Thanks.